Guys, just a heads up, always look at the date in the description on Squad Builder's prices because over the year the prices go up and down. Just a heads up and enjoy the video. Yo, what up my little fried eggs? Check this out. I don't know why I said fried eggs. Probably because I really like fried eggs. But clip of the day here. Someone sent this in, a subscriber, Fusion Magics I think is. Uh, he scores a free kick on Pro Clubs, clearly went over the line. Just You could just about see a crossover yet. It's not like there was an offside or something, because if it was, they would um, give him a, give a free kick to the opposition. But they have a corner now. What a weird glitch that is. So basically, if you guys want to submit any clips like he did, he just sent it to me on uh, my uh, gamer tag to my gamer gamer tag uh, as a message, which basically is exactly like my channel name, Damper HD. So you can send me anything, whether it's a pack, whether it's a really sick multi kill on a game, whether it's a glitch on a game. It doesn't even have to be FIFA related. It can be anything. Like you guys know, I have Battlefield related clips. Anyways, check this squad builder out. It is a weekend league squad builder. Um, it's five at the back. I because basically the reason I, why I released this really late is because uh, I didn't realize how badly I need to make a squad for you guys because the weekend league is so sweaty or foot champions, whatever you want to call it. Now we're going with five at the back, two, two, one. So Salah will take right wing and left wing, of course, Hesse Rodriguez. Now, Hesse Rodriguez, a uh, decent amount of pace, not as much as Salah, but still. Uh, really amazing wingers. Cavani's there. Clearly, you can tell for the heading and the finishing. Not got the most pace. Now, here we go in the center mid. Verratti is so important in this squad builder. He is easily in the top three. He's got tremendous long shots, good passing, good vision, and can do some really good defensive work as well. So, I think he's pivotal in this squad. And uh, now, moving into center mid, who's going to partner him is also another Italian, De Rossi. Uh, I think he's really good. He doesn't have the most of pace, neither does Verratti, but defensively they're really good. Pit balls, they mop up at the back as well, so it's really good. Very defensive squad, which I will explain to you why I went for this. Lorenzi will take right wing back. I think he offers a lot more uh, moving up front in front of goal compared to Moreno. Moreno has a good amount of pace, so he can start the counter-attack as well from the left side. Now the three centre-backs. This is where it gets really interesting. Now it's a Premier League side, so you can actually be creative if you have a bit more coins and you want to go with someone else like Koscielny in there, etc. Uh, many other centre-backs are there. So we went with Matip and centre-back because he's really cheap. And I had to keep this under 50k for you guys. Uh, the price will be down below in the description for PS4 and Xbox, as always. Uh, I started doing that from the last video because someone... Um, uh, mentioned what's the, you know what's the price on PS4. So we got Winston Reed taking center back uh, and finishing off right between them, sandwiched between them is of course I went for an Italian, not necessarily needed, but uh, I went for an Italian Ogbonna so we can link up with Verratti um, because yeah it's not like he would have had chemistry issues because he had two high, uh, green links uh, for him, so it wouldn't have been a big deal. Um, so yeah, that's finishing up the squad. We it was. It was really difficult to find the keeper as well, so I went with Karius because he's quite uh, cheap as well. I think you can get for 1k or maximum 2k, and I think he delivers on another level. I think he's great. A lot of people have talked about him, and I tried him out, and he's great. Now, why did I go for this sweaty squad builder? Five at the back, everyone's like, oh, why is this guy going for five at the back? Yeah. Well, basically, the weekend league, the foot champions, first of all, I... Um, I get too much latency and lag for some reason. It's put me with the American servers and I need to change that for next weekend league. So I don't even know if I'm going to attempt at it. I did decent yesterday on the first day basically and I'm already, um, I think three games to get into the goal. But it's so frustrating for me with the latency and lag. I'm not even going to attempt to continue it. I know it's a bit of a shame that I didn't try to go for gold, but it made me so angry. My record on the game is, is pretty decent. You're going to be shocked that I've played over 100 games already. My record is 100, game, 100 wins and like 35 losses or something. So when I played the weekend league, it, it, it took a big uh, blow to my uh, losses, to be honest. Uh, I was like, probably would have been like 90 for 20, 90 for uh, 15 maybe, but... Uh, weekend league requires a lot of sweat. I'm not gonna lie. So this team is does just about that. So mostly with the weekend league, you seem to concede too much. It seemed like foot draft where you can dominate. I was up by five goals once, and the guy almost came back five four. So I can, I'm not gonna lie. Like it's like foot draft. Doesn't matter how much you're winning by, momentum changes, and then that's it. You seem to be. It's like the EA gods have uh, set your fate for you. So no matter what, you can't. Oh my god, that guy just stabbed. I'm gonna go crazy. But yeah, so it's like you can't change your fate. So five at the back will help you out a lot more and you have to hit on the counter. So you have some de re reasonably pacey wingers, not my traditional 95 paced wingers. Not that there are many this year, but yeah. And Cavani to lead up. Cavani can really start off the attack 
as well. But he is rather fast for someone with 70 region of pace. He does have quite a bit of agility on him, not going to lie. Off the card, maybe. Maybe it's something special with him. But he does have some a decent amount of agility. So what you got to do is get in the box with the wingers and cross them to Cavani to finish off, whether it's a header, whether it's a, a general volley. That's what I think is good about this team. And Verratti is there to mop up, as he saw in the last game, banging himself a couple of goals. I think he's really important in the squad. Top three, I'd have to say... Verratti, uh, maybe Jesse Rodriguez, uh, Jesse Rodriguez, yeah, Jesse Rodriguez, and uh, I don't know, the last one is quite tough, um, Salah probably, uh, there's quite a few decent players in the squad, De Rossi also was really important in the squad, I thought Ogbonna was also uh, ridiculously good on this uh, game as well, but overall, good team, definitely think you should prepare yourself for next week, for the weekend league, I think you might enjoy this, maybe you can use this as your chem team, maybe you have 300-400k, invested in one of your main teams so you know 50k is a bit too expensive for a fitness team but i think it'll be uh, a good team for your weekend league maybe if you switch over like for five or ten games well ten games use this and then swap um or if you're needing to get like a couple of wins to get into the next tier i say get a sweaty defensive team this will help you i'm not gonna say it's the greatest team of all because, uh, you know, I, I can say that about every squad builder, but it does the job just fine. So you may want to try it out. As always, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Have a wonderful day, guys. Peace. And then show you the players. So here's my actual starting 11, which I use most of the time. I have quite a few one-to-watch players in there.